Have you told this fellow you're my mentee? Yes, oh, yes, great. yes, yes, yes. Wonderful. Um, for those people who do not know, Amerix is one of the people who really, really helped me out with drama and music when I was in, in high school. No, I'm not bragging. However, me na takatu hasira ibakiju. Leo sina, I don't have the three facts to give you. I just need to bring a few things to our notice. This past two days, two or so days, you've seen uh, the vetting of the CSS happen. You've seen that people have claimed that they've worked for 30 years and they accumulated, uh, for example, 400 million. But in the past less than two years, somebody's net worth has increased by over 200 million. I don't know which business that is because uh, remember we've uh, the shilling was not doing too well. Uh, tax has gone up, cost of living has gone up, but make business because you know politicians don't produce anything. All politicians produce is violence and chaos. They don't have industry. The question on Aulizo, where have you said, from selling his biography? Very few people have read it. And yes, because it's the, it's the biggest selling book in Nuria, does not make it, does not make it seem as though he's selling a million copies a week. Again, Uliona Nani Akikwa interviewed Oparanya. Nani, Junet Alikwa Ana Nod as though to guide the person to answer no to the question. I'm hearing people declare their wealth. Nobody's even asking for tax returns. These questions are being asked as though it's just a formality. In a meeting here, what we're from for, wanajaribu kusema nani atakuwa si you chairman. And we likwe isha determiniwa first term. These people are just hanging out as a boys club. I need to remind you, hundi wekia sira ju, sina sijui nini. Polisi umesikia our comrade, the cop saying, while you're getting 4,000. Have you seen the amount of force these people use to us on the streets? Is it worth 4,000 shillings? If you're a cop and you're listening to this, I need you to ask yourself, is 4,000 shillings worth brutalizing your brothers and sisters for on the streets? Remember, again, there's this propaganda of this silly disease that's being touted called Mpox. If, by my analysis, it just feels as though they want to make it look like COVID. Uh, you've seen the photos of the boil looking all ugly, but it feels as though they want to impose a lockdown. So that what was the, was the, was the undermine it, so that there's no public uh, gatherings because they've just dissipated it as propaganda. And this is what we said. This aura for aura business should not cease because of Babu, the government needs to be reminded that they do not own monopoly of propaganda. They might have monopoly of violence, but they do not have monopoly of propaganda. Remember, it does to me, it doesn't even sound like a real disease. In a sound kama kitu mekua fabricated, it sounds like a sponsored ad. Because at your patient, patient zero got it while traveling from Uganda to Rwanda through Kenya. It does not make any sense. For me, it just seems like it's a lockdown thing. Kumbuka, weka asira yako ju. How many bodies have so, shown up at city so far? The, the last time I saw the report, it was 240-something. So it means one body for every constituency. Ukwapa, you've sat down as a Kenyan. Bado unajiuliza at you, why should I go for mandamano? It is for these people who are dying like dogs. Those people, I attended this Tom Boyer show, and they mentioned the names. And I remember being so moved and standing because they are people who laid their lives so that we can get this far. Remember, your local politician produces nothing. But sisi tuko hapa Twitter, tunatuka nana, tunasema, oh, sijui nani has done this. While the revolution is going on, we need to have one common enemy. Our common enemy is a con man, he's a looter, he's a killer and a murderer and hires on corruption and cronyism. There, it is very true, and I'm very sad to admit that there are people who have made money off of the revolution. There are people who've received funding from organizations in the name of mobilizing people, uh, and, and they have not used that money for the collective. These people, we will not let them lose. That's one thing I need to assure them. And ever since I knew, ever since I knew, we said, these people will have to be brought to the book. However, as long as they are still furthering this agenda, we have to figure that nani nani thing. Because I'm not hearing a lot of enough of us talking about this nani nani thing. Remember, 
when this embittered uh, Nairobi, currently Nairobi-based outgoing president is touring around, these trips still cost millions. It's just that we are not seeing, we're not seeing the books, nobody's auditing it. I think, and I would wager, they cost just as much as his international trips would cost. He's now gone on a very, very rampant campaign trail, and we are letting this thing slide while having this infighting. Nane Nane is coming up. You've seen the way people want to seka. Umesikia vile artists wana dharauliwa huku nje. Umesikia vile watu wana dhulumiwa huku nje. Women are still getting raped in those uh, in, in formal settlements or slums. Uh, men are still being shot like dogs. People in the slums are still going hungry. But what wame kaapa chini in a chamber, in a, in, a, in a parliament of baboons, where people sit down, interview each other as a round table chama, what pali watu wana, it's capture harvest. They go and just pick from public coffers as though they are taking an unsecured loan from a circle. Na wu mekaapo, kasirayako inapungua. Unakachini, you have the guts to think you can question the movement. You think that we will get another moment where we will give this system shock therapy like this. It's never gonna happen if we don't follow through with it. It's never, you've seen the, the, the effects it has it has uh, all across Africa. So, ukijaribu kuachayo asirayako ishuke, nda kumbusha network ya our CSs. Unakaivi chini, ukumbuke, you are a peasant, you are a pauper, that's why you are in this space. If you had anything, you would not be in this space. Even the people who we think have money who are in this space, they have nothing. They are trying to gather more information on, on, on how best they can screw you. Na we badu unakachini, you think you have moral high ground to call out what this movement is. Let's not accept to be sucked into the useless, uh, into the, these baseless uh, infightings. Because as uh, Ayn Rand said in 1957, when you see that in order to produce, you need to obtain permission from men who produce nothing. When you see that money is flowing to those who deal, not in goods but in favors. When you see that men get richer by graft and by pull than by work, and your laws don't protect you against them, but protect them against you. When you see corruption being rewarded and honesty becoming a self-sacrifice, you may know that your society is doomed. Alafu bado kuna watu wana kuuliza after root of what next. We have figured out that society is doomed and we are trying to reclaim it. And if you just, you think about whatever even this CS vetting process is, is like someone who's doing a colonoscopy where they're supposed to be uh, examining your internal organs, but they're doing it with a telescope. Nobody is up for accountability anymore. And the more we let these people slide, the more we let them deal and haul our future around, we will not have a country. This thing which people are lying and deceiving you that we, will not, we don't have a country and people are trying to let the country descend into chaos is nothing. Because when you say Ruto must go, and I want, you to, I want to explain this to you very clearly if you're listening to the sound of my voice. When you say Ruto must go, you are affirming the position of the Constitution. Because on September 21st, 2020, CJ Emeritus David Maraga told, uh, advised the then President Uhuru to dissolve Parliament because it was not in, in, in good standing. Years later, this Parliament as it sits is unconstitutional. So all this rigmarole of Sri, what comes next, there will be no power vacuum. Let nobody lie to you that the country will descend into chaos. Because we are peaceful, beyond being tribeless, leaderless and fear, Less, we are also not, we, we, as I keep on saying, we're protesters, not rioters and looters. Nobody should lie to you that the country will descend into chaos. Because what the president knows very well, if you read the constitution, he is, you cannot also litigate that matter of uh, Sri, the, now as uh, Supreme Court, uh, the, the president of the, of the judiciary has said something, now you want to litigate it in high court. It is not a matter of litigation. You just follow the constitution. The president knows once he dissolves Bunge, we have to go into a general election, and by effect, that means that he has resigned. So when you say, don't be afraid. Hello. Nobody lied to you. Can you hear me? Let yes. nobody can you hear me? To... Yes, I can. Uh, let me just okay. wrap it up. Let me wrap it up. Let nobody lie to you that the people are not for you. God is for us, the people are for us. And I talk as a person, nimeingia ground. Nimefanya to online, nimeingia ground, and everybody is ripe for these things. Toka hapo inja asira ikiwa juu ongea na mamamboga wako. And don't talk down on these people. These people are equally as wise. They are equally as wise as we are. So in all our contributions and everything that you're doing, as we soldier up to nane nane, ask yourself, 
is this country currently working for you and is this the kind of country you want to live in thanks Amerix. thank you very much uh, uh, Smueli. um yes push it beyond online into offline i'm um, okayo okayo uh 